My name is uh, Catherine Walsh and I'm a, f a family physician in the community. I work at present in the London Family Health Team and I am one of uh, four different offices in the London Family Health Team in this site and one of three different sites in the Family Health Team. Um, I am the senior, sort of one of the senior partners in my own office of three soon to be four partners. I've been a community practicing physician for 30 plus years and I can't remember when I joined as an adjunct uh, professor with the Department of Family Medicine. It's been a long time now that I've done community uh, teaching. Um, I'm also the chair of the London Family Health Team. I took that on five years ago. We joined a family health team, became one of the two family health teams in our area five years ago in 2010 and prior to that for the first 25 years I was in a fee-for-service uh, community mom-and-pop shop practice. So I've had um, many many kind of roles and experiences over the last uh, many years. Um, I have also worked at Parkwood Hospital as one of the six physicians uh, who did palliative care and ran the unit as part of uh, Parkwood Hospital's uh, family practice um, unit and uh, that was a tremendous I am privileged and a pleasure and I did that for eight to ten years so uh, I've had lots and lots of roles in family medicine. When I first started uh, teaching I think that it was just kind of a natural metamorphosis for me. I had some amazing teachers and mentors over the years in medicine and uh, when I first started in family medicine, uh, the person who was probably the biggest influence in my career was also a teacher in the Department of Family Medicine. So it was just kind of one of those natural roles that I probably always thought I would like to do, having seen him teach in his clinic. Um, I thought that that was a good fit for me as well. Um, the community medicine aspect of things, uh, I don't think I looked further than community medicine. I think that I've always enjoyed um, teaching, uh, but I had never thought about starting and working in an academic setting. I think that in my generation, we were really, uh, many of us were just part of that kind of renegade group that you trained and you hung your shingle and you went out to practice and you did everything and that was just the way we were trained. And particularly those of us who trained um, away from uh, the large teaching center. So part of my training was in Penticton and Kelowna and in Bella Bella BC and so even though I was in Vancouver for my residency um, the a lot of my training was not in that academic setting so to speak so I just assumed I would come out and hang my shingle so and uh, haven't looked back from that aspect as well so really enjoy community practice. I think that there are uh, so many benefits in terms of being a preceptor to the students. I think the first benefit is that um, anytime you share an experience, uh, anytime you give of yourself, uh, there is no doubt about that you will receive back tenfold. And I think that that's part of uh, sharing of any experience that you have. So your knowledge and sharing of that experience will come back to you tenfold in terms of um, just shaping the learner, being part of that cogwheel in their learning and training. So I think it's a little humbling uh, to be able to say that you've uh, been part of that experience. Um, I think that we learn, we're always learning, so it keeps us abreast, so there's a little bit of a selfish part of it that, you know, we take what uh, we feel is to be altruism and, and giving back and, and we get uh, more back in return, but the learners teach us, uh, they keep us on top of things, so it just, um, it keeps us current and keeps us active, keeps us thinking. Um, I think as a community preceptor it keeps me involved um, so just even at the university level I think that there's benefit in us sharing with the university you know transmitting um, what's happening in the trenches to university so that we're not working in silos you know we we by being involved we we let the people who are shaping these programs know what it is that they're going to need to do when they leave that university setting and that you know academic teaching setting and so I think that's just it allows us to share our experience at that kind of institutional level, so I, I think that's another benefit. 
I think that you know the benefit first of all just the the simple benefit is the experience so we can impart experience so we take that knowledge base that we have and let's face it you know 30 years uh, 25 patients a day for 30 years is a lot of experiential knowledge so I think that bringing them out into this environment and and uh, teaching them through experiential sort of, you know, encounters with patients um, and imparting that knowledge um, at that clinical level uh, is very, very important um, across the spectrum. And I think that it's a larger volume uh, so they're going to be have to, they're going to have to think on their feet maybe a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, um, but I think that that's part of the benefit.